Hey, what's going on guys? So in today's video, I'll be taking you through my habit tracker spreadsheet. So in this spreadsheet, you'll be able to track five of your most important habits. So this spreadsheet also comes with different charts and different visuals for you to easily track your habits. So now I'll take you through how to use this spreadsheet. So on the first tab down here, the instructions tab, I do have some easy instructions that you can use to follow along so you don't forget how to use the spreadsheet. And on the second tab, I have the tracker template. So what you want to do is you don't want to edit this template at all. And instead, what you want to do is right click on it and then click duplicate. And so for each month, you'll duplicate a new sheet and we can call this, for example, January. So to now to use this sheet first, we need to write out our first five habits. So to type in our first five habits, you can enter them over here. And when you enter them over here, they'll automatically update in the table below here. So this will be habit one. This will be habit two. So as you can see, this will automatically update. So you don't need to change any of these cells. All you need to do is select the month and enter in your habits. So I'm going to undo everything and leave these habits as they are. So to track your habits, all you need to do is, for example, January 22nd. So the cool thing about this spreadsheet is that it will highlight what the current date is. So today is January 22nd, Monday. And as we can see here, it is highlighted in yellow. And when we check the checkboxes for our habits and complete them all, it will turn green. So a cool little feature is that we have a little status bar over here. We also have a progress of four out of five habits are completed. And when we complete everything, it'll say five out of five. And the cool thing about this spreadsheet is that you can track your habit progress, your daily progress and your monthly progress. So in this spreadsheet, I've also included an example of what your spreadsheet could look like. So in this spreadsheet, as you can see, not every day I complete all my habits. And as you can see from this graph up here, my average completion rate of my habits each day is 82.7%. So you can see on January 1st to January 3rd, I completed all my habits. Whereas on January 13, which is down here, I only completed two thirds of my habits. And let's say if I did complete them all, as you can see, it will automatically update in the chart. And over here, I have my monthly progress, which says 91 out of 155. So if I were to go ahead and complete every single habit, it would say 155 out of 155. Let me just undo everything. And a cool feature that I personally like about this spreadsheet is that you can also track your individual habit. So as you can see over here, I go to the gym every day, 22 out of 22 days, but you can see that I'm lacking in other habits such as reading 10 pages of my book. So I've only completed that 11 out of 22 days. So this is really good because then you'll be able to visually see which habits you're lacking on and then you can put more focus on that. So just some extra tips about this spreadsheet for if you want to select multiple checkboxes, you can press the space bar and that will automatically select them or deselect them all. If you want to get this template for yourself, simply go to the link in the description and all the information will be there. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll make sure to answer all the questions and I'll see you guys in the next one.